You are asking me about this patient with hydrocephalus and she is a 31-year-old woman from Brazil. In general, hydrocephalus develops due to an accumulation of too much cerebrospinal fluid in the ventricles inside the brain, which compresses the brain due to increased production of cerebrospinal fluid or due to impaired absorption of cerebrospinal fluid. Usually, such patients undergo surgery and have a shunt placed to drain the excess cerebrospinal fluid from the brain. As far as I understand, the surgeries did not help this girl, and the ventricles continued to expand, compressing the brain tissue. The woman can no longer speak, see, or walk, but she is alive, receiving love and care from her mother. I know that many of you are afraid of hydrocephalus. I remind you that hydrocephalus in children manifests clinically and is not diagnosed solely based on the size of the ventricles on neurosonography. In diagnosis, the doctor should focus on the clinical picture, the results of CT, MRI, eye examination, and spinal tap. Look for a qualified neurologist and don't get anxious too soon. I wrote more details in the description.